So India has large sections of population that are marginalized below poverty line. They also face discrimination or based on their identity and other factors. The national data sets do not adequately have representation from these communities. To that extent, there are data gaps, there are policy gaps. So the Leave No One Behind Coalition makes an effort to help these communities generate their own data to look at their context, their challenges, their development access, and provides an evidence-based source for them to engage with the government for better policies and mechanisms. In 2018, in collaboration with the LNOP partnership, we started work on citizen-generated data. The idea was to look at the communities that are invisible in the national data sets and to help them create uh, evidence on their own issues and challenges. So as a methodology, we looked at a mixed approach of quantitative and qualitative methods, just so we are able to create the maximum amount of knowledge on these communities during this process. So we worked with community-based organizations with a history of working with the communities that we had chosen. And we identified volunteers from the community to do a household survey of 100 families from the community. This survey was monitored with the help of an app uh, so that we are able to uh, ensure the data quality. For the qualitative process, the volunteers from the community were trained to, on how to conduct a focus group discussion and the team also made field visits to monitor the situation. The findings from all of this were uh, then collated in reports and community briefs at different stages of this, this process. All of this community participatory engagement is then what helped us design the Leave No One Behind uh, engagement for the voluntary national review that India conducted in 2020. See, the voluntary national review, which the government has to submit, includes a chapter on the vulnerable communities under the Leave No One Behind chapter. The Niti Aayog and the UN organizations reached out to Vadana Todo to contribute to this chapter. And we were able to hold about 50 consultations, national and subnational, with 16 marginalized groups, which included Dalits, gender, transgender, women, tribals. All these groups, we were able to have these consultations with over a thousand civil society organizations to bring in their recommendations and their context and challenges. When we were preparing the Voluntary National Review Report for India, it was very critical that consultations with civil society organizations were done. And Save the Children, along with eight, nine um, organizations, had undertaken consultations with about 100 civil society organizations across India to ensure that we understand the implications uh, you know, of uh, SDG for Children. So the focus of these consultations practically was to understand one is, you know, uh, what is what what should be the government's focus when we are looking at children's rights. So really understanding who are the most vulnerable children, you know, what are their challenges, challenges vis-a-vis -vis not only the program services reaching them, but also challenges vis-a-vis -vis having relevant data available, disaggregated data available on the most marginalized children. And then also looking at solutions, which includes also good practices from civil society organizations. The whole mandate was to also understand how civil society organizations can contribute to ensure that children meet their rights, you know, under the SDG agenda. जो बादाना तोड़ा भी यहाँ के साथ जो कार्यक्रम किए कि किसी को भी पीछे नहीं छोड़ना है तो ये हमने देखा कि जो आज हम इस मुकाम पे पहुंची हैं तो ये बादाना तोड़ो के नेटवर्किंग के माध्यम से पहुंचे हुए हैं तो हमने वहाँ पर अपनी बात रखी कि सिंगल बहुमेन का मुद्दा भी है तो हम बार बार वहाँ मीटिंगों में अपने इस मुद्दे को कहते थे कि हमारा भी इसमें नाम आना चाहिए नंबर दो जो जैसे कि हंड्रेड स्पोर्ट पर अपना अनुभव जो हमने बताना फायदे क्या हुए बहुत सारा हुआ जब हमने ये फॉर्म भरे तो हम फील्ड में गए और हमने दो डिस्ट्रिक्टों में चार ब्लॉकों में सर्वे किया तो वहाँ पर जब गए कि ग्राम पंचायत में भी बोलते थे कि सब कुछ मिल रहा है सिंगल बहुमेन को तो जैसे कि मैं वहाँ सिलाई का बताऊँ कि वहाँ एफजीडी की हमने केस स्टडी आई बहुत सारी तो 
एक गांव था वहां पर उन महिलाओं को पानी भी नहीं मिलता था और जो सिंगल बहुमेन है उनको पानी भी नहीं मिलता था सबसे पीछे उनका नंबर लगता था जब इस एफ के उपरांत उन्होंने फिर उनकी हिम्मत बढ़ी और उन्होंने प्रधान जी को भी बोला कि ऐसा हो रहा है तो और हमारे को पानी नहीं मिल रहा है तो हमने वो आवाज उठाई और सबके सामने प्रधान को भी बोला तो उसके बाद उनको उस तरह से पानी आने लगा फिर कह रहे थे कि बिजली सबके घर में है तो बिजली के मीटर नहीं थे तो एक एक कल महिला थी उसके घर में कोई मीटर नहीं लगा हुआ था तो फिर उसके उपरांत उसके घर में मीटर लगा तो ये बहुत सारी चीजें थी जो मतलब उनके जैसे माइनर का, का काम करते थे तो वहां पर जो सारा उनके घरों में सारा पत्थर फेंक देने तो उसके उपरांत उन्होंने आ, हमने आ, उनको बोला कि जागरूक किया कि आप आ, उनको इतनी ताकत दी कि ग्राम पंचायत में जाओ और वहां पर अपना आ, सारा समस्या रखो और ग्रुप के माध्यम से जाओ तो इस एफ जी होने के बाद हमारे को बहुत सारी फिर परित्यक्त महिलाएं मिली क्योंकि बोलने को तो बोलते थे कि नहीं कुछ नहीं है पर जब हम कांगड़ा में गए तो ऐसी महिला थी मतलब जिनके घरेलू हिस्सा के केस चले थे पंचायत में बात नहीं सुनी जाती थी और उनको पेंशन नहीं लगी हुई होती थी तो हमने ये सारी एफ के माध्यम से सारी रिपोर्ट बना के फिर हमने उनके सामने प्रधानों के सामने रख तो उसके बाद एक पहचान बनी हमारी और आज अपने हक के लिए सभी महिलाएं लड़ रही feel it is like a phenomenal work which looks at the decade of action and can provide the recommendations for these communities to be both accessing the development and also accessing justice the united nations in india is proud to have partnered with niti aayog and our civil society partners including vada na todo in india's second voluntary national review in a truly inclusive democratic and participatory process this whole of society process not only engaged central ministries and subnational governments in all 36 states and union territories but consulted over 1000 civil society representatives across 16 vulnerable groups these consultations brought into focus the experiences the voices uh, the challenges achievements expectations of the most marginalized communities which is so vital to deliver on the central promise of the sustainable development goals and 2030 agenda to leave no one behind see vadana todo has made a step one step i would say in helping marginalized communities generate their own data but india has large numbers of such marginalized communities across the country so i would hope that more and more these communities are able to generate their data and use it for evidence based policy changes and mechanisms that can promote their development additionally i would look at how the citizen generated data can become a supplement to the national data statistics so that we can bring in additional information and fit for purpose policies and mechanisms so that these communities can be uh, better included into our development agenda further i would say that we also need to push the whole citizen generated data at the global level so that we have a more equal society and a better access to justice and development